Rated M for Mature. In the first game, in Payday 1, Bane was the guy who gave you your information and your mission. And that is still true uh, for this game. The difference is with Crime that we actually are giving you um, like kind of a whole mission uh, delivery system. We are basically randomly generating uh, rare and uncommon and common missions. Payday 1 uh, was basically a flat list of missions and there was no sense of narrative or anything. What CrimeNet allows us to do is actually have multiple stages. Uh, so you actually have a small narrative uh, within the mission itself. You can have multiple days that your job takes place on, which is very different from the first game and gives us a lot of flexibility. It's kind of a fictional framework uh, for us, so it gives us a, like a context to, to put people in that, that feels like, oh yeah, all these different different criminal guys and I'm, I'm, I'm talking to all of them in the, in the city, that's one part. And then the other part is the mechanical part, which is, you know, you're seeing all these different missions and some of them you've never seen before and, and you know, you're always kind of looking to see when the, where the good score is. And that feels more exciting than just choosing a, choosing a flat mission and being like, I'm going. I think this, this, this keeps you on your toes in a way that the other way doesn't.